Hi all, Dr. Lisa here with another in my series on research studies that can help you figure out how to improve your fertility. Today, we're going to discuss repeat miscarriage. Repeat miscarriage is devastating. I know, as you may know from viewing my other videos, I belong to the uh, three-peat miscarriage club when I was trying to build my family. Often doctors don't know why, and um, what I wanted to do today was study or discuss a study that looked at one possible factor. There is a condition called endometritis, not to be confused with endometriosis. Any word ending in itis means inflammation. So endometritis is inflammation of the endometrium, the uterine lining. The name of the study is chronic endometritis due to common bacteria is prevalent in women with recurrent miscarriage. So what is endometritis? It's an inflammation of the uterine lining. And the reason that this is an issue is that it can interfere with implantation um, because often when you have an inflammation, um, inflammatory molecules are re um, released by the tissues that are dealing with um, whatever problem that they are uh, recognizing. And this kind of, these kind of inflammatory molecules can interfere with signaling. And it seems like maybe cause the pregnancy to be rejected in favor of conserving energy and nutrients for the mother. What this study is looking at is they went backwards. What they did was it was a retrospective study where they looked at women who had repeat miscarriages and then checked to see if they had endometritis. And just so that you are clear on the terminology, repeat miscarriage is any pregnancy loss that happens before um, 20 weeks. So um, to just jump straight to the conclusion, um, the study revealed that there is a relationship between repeat miscarriage and chronic endometrial inflammation. And they discovered several you know, interesting clinical implications. First, and most importantly, they, dis they determined or they, they definitely concluded that um, chronic endometritis is a common finding in women who have recurrent miscarriages. I will tell you that in my clinical experience, I think this is probably an overlooked cause because when I have women who have repeat miscarriages, they often have not undergone the diagnostic testing necessary to determine if that's a factor. So then of course, my question as a clinician is, well, how can we most easily determine if chronic endometritis is potentially a player? And um, we will get to that in just a minute. Second, the study confirmed that in the population that they looked at, um, common bacteria are the most frequently involved infectious agents in um, chronic endometritis. Now, the reason that's important is because if you have some weird, strange, unusual bacteria, there's not, you know, there may not be enough evidence to say what kind of antibiotics should be prescribed for dealing with it. But if you have fairly common bacteria, that tells you two things. First, we probably know how to treat it. And second, because it's a common bacteria, often what that means is that for whatever reason, a bacteria that is normally found in you know, the woman's uterus somehow created an overgrowth or got obstreperous and started creating problems. So what that leads me to think about as a, you know, a natural, as a fertility acupuncturist, how can we most um, strongly support a woman's normal immune system and normal body functioning and hormone balance and, you know, fluids and everything that goes into the reproductive system to make sure that her body is able to keep bacteria in check. For the purposes of treatment, however, knowing that it's a common bacteria means that you aren't going to have to go to, you know, some um, strain like um, specialized infectious disease clinic to figure out what to do with it. You can take, you know, antibiotics that are available um, from your doctor. Third, this study confirms that hysteroscopy is a reliable diagnostic test for chronic endometritis. And 
Um, that is important because often there has been confusion in terms of what needs to happen specifically in order to test for this. So, and a, and a hysteroscopy is something that any general imaging clinic or imaging um, place can do. So again, having the means to go to a general solution um, to your OB um, instead of having to specialize clinic research on this is really helpful. So a hysteroscopy is a reliable diagnostic technique for chronic endometritis. And what happens is that the, when they do the hysteroscopy, they will find micropolyps, something called stromal edema and focal or diffuse um, hyperemia. So um, what they would be looking for is those sorts of things. And if you see that on your reports, then you'll know what that means. It's a, actually related to the inflammatory state of your endometrium. Moreover, normal hysteroscopic patterns, once there has been antibiotic treatment given, in most cases, when a woman goes in for a check to see if things look normal again, the hysteroscopy is actually uh, refined enough to be able to see that yes, everything goes back to normal, which means that getting a check after a course of antibiotics, if for a woman who's had repeat miscarriage and wants to minimize the likelihood that she will have another miscarriage through this treatment, the hysteroscopy, if it shows normal, return to normal endometrial um, looks, then it's definitely associated with an improved reproductive outcome. Fourth, the results of this study demonstrated that in women with chronic endometritis, when their, their um, fertility was restored after appropriate antibiotic treatment, um, it means that if you have an issue with repeat miscarriage, you should get a hysteroscopy to help either rule in or rule out chronic endometritis as one of the causes of the repeat um, miscarriage. So what they're establishing is that um, chronic endometritis can contribute to um, repeat miscarriage, that hysteroscopy is a good way to see if you have chronic endometritis, that um, common bacteria are the cause of the endometritis, and that if you get appropriate antibiotic treatment, normal fertility is restored and you are very likely to go on to having a normal you know, result with getting pregnant and staying pregnant. The final, the final piece of this study is a piece of news um, or a finding that is not as comforting. And that is, is that if a woman is given several courses of antibiotics and they cannot clear out the chronic endometritis, um, even if the bacterial cultures, if they go to the point where they do a bacterial culture to see if there's endometritis, if her endometrial lining doesn't go back to normal, it does suggest that you're still going to have issues with getting pregnant. So if the, um, if you still have signs of, of chronic endometritis after a course of treatment, then that means that the endometritis hasn't been cleared and you need to continue to look at reasons that you might have the endometritis because just the antibiotics won't necessarily lead to improved outcomes. But the reason that I wanted to talk about this article is because this is a fantastic, easy step that you could, that a woman who has an issue with repeat endome, or repeat, excuse me, miscarriages can do with your OBGYN. You go to your OBGYN, you tell him you want him to do a hysteroscopy or order a hysteroscopy that checks for signs of chronic endometritis. And if you have the chronic endometritis, that shows up on the hysteroscopy, you can take antibiotics and that has a really good chance of clearing it up. So it's both diagnostic in terms of uh, figuring out one of the reasons why you might have reproductive or um, repeat miscarriage. But what it also does is this study tells you how to deal with it. Um, so 
Now, one of the things that this particular study did was it said that, you know, you should culture the uterine lining to see what specific bacteria are in there causing trouble and then give the antibiotics specific to or best known to help um, eliminate that bacteria. So I actually did some follow-up research because I was curious about whether or not there was any indication that just a broad course of uh, a spectrum or a, a course of broad spectrum antibiotics would help. And as it turns out, I did find a study that said, and actually this was published in February on February 3rd of 2021 that said um, that broad spectrum oral antibiotic therapy for 14 days is effective in the treatment of chronic endometritis in 89.8% of the cases. Now, the caveat is, is that they did not run this study long enough to see if it actually improved pregnancy outcomes. But we know the answer to that. If a woman takes a broad uh, spectrum antibiotic course for 14 days and then goes back and gets another hysteroscopy and it shows that her endometrial lining no longer has the signs of chronic endometritis, we know that she's clear and she has a much better chance of avoiding repeat care miscarriage in the future. So that is the study. It is a giant step forward, I think, in trying to figure out the various causes of repeat miscarriage. And because like I said, I notice in my clinic when my patients come in, this is often something that is overlooked you know, now have the knowledge to be able to go to your OBGYN or your rep a reproductive endocrinologist and ask for a hysteroscopy to determine whether or not you have chronic endometritis. And if you do, then you also can point to the study to tell your RE or your OBGYN that yes, a, a course of broad spectrum antibiotics may actually help clear this out. And as we learned from that second study, it can actually help in 89% of the cases. Because of the history of repeat miscarriage, I would say personally, if it were me, um, and it, it was my patients that I was counseling, that you do want to do the follow-up hysteroscopy. Because anything that you can do to improve your health and assure yourself that you have taken a concrete step to actually reduce one of the factors that contribute to repeat miscarriage will put your mind at ease the next time that you get pregnant. Thanks for joining me today. Check out my other videos um, on my YouTube channel. I have several videos that talk about repeat mis miscarriage um, and then also videos that talk about just not how to improve your fertility naturally. You can also find me on Facebook at Fertility Reset Online and online at www.fertilityresetonline.com where I have courses that help improve fertility. And finally, you can find me on Instagram at acupuncturelisa.omd. Thanks so much.